Hello everybody, Steve here from Never Too Late to Travel. Well here we are continuing uh, our tour around uh, Kanchanaburi and uh, quite a lot to see this weekend and uh, for the past few months one of the places I've wanted to see is the Kanchanaburi uh, Skywalk so I uh, decided to come down here and have a look today and uh, see uh, what it has to offer everybody spectacular looking uh, structure from the outside so we're uh, quite looking forward to uh, getting up there and doing some uh, filming so I invite you to uh, walk uh, along with me and uh, enjoy the scenery and the uh, skywalk and uh, be happy to receive your comments of what you think about it so with that let's get uh, going and uh, find our way into uh, the entry point And as you can see, the skywalk right on the edge of the river. Uh, very, very uh, easy to find. Virtually across the road from the well-known secret garden. So you shouldn't have any difficulty in locating it. And uh, in addition to that, there's always Google Maps. So this is the uh, main entrance and uh, wife waiting patiently there for me. Uh, there is a lift up to the uh, skywalk so there's no uh, hard stairs to climb which is uh, a blessing for me to be honest. But a little bit peeved because uh, before I started to get the lift up to the uh, Skywalk, I was told that I couldn't use the uh, a stick on my GoPro and I couldn't use the stick on the 360X3, uh, which is a bit ridiculous really because my GoPro handle is just a handle for holding the camera. It's not a selfie stick, it doesn't extend. Uh, I can understand it with the 363. Uh, so now we're uh, having to resort to uh, my mobile phone. and. Uh, to be honest I'm not very very happy about it at all there's very very few people here and uh, it's not going to really bother anybody Skywalk 90% complete now but as you can see the workmen are still finishing off probably doing the snagging Skywalk offering uh, splendid views over the river and the surrounding hillside. Uh, quite a lot to take in actually when you're up here. It's not very often I use my uh, camera for uh, videoing uh, on my phone, uh, but uh, I must say I'm quite impressed with the results. It has uh, turned out quite clear which is quite surprising I didn't really expect it to be as good as what it is a few tourist boats there going up and down the river they're taking uh, tourists to various locations along its banks they'll probably end up at the uh, River Kwai Bridge wife certainly enjoying herself she likes stuff like this and uh, always takes the opportunity to uh, take her pictures and small videos that she probably posts on TikTok and Facebook and the likes. Had a little bit of a drizzle this morning but it's all uh, fine now and all dried up so uh, no problem walking along on the glass. You can keep your shoes on, you just put the over covers uh, over the top of them to stop you marking the glass, so don't really have to take your shoes off, just put the covers on. I think the initial drizzle this morning has put quite a few people off from coming, but uh, they seem to be uh, Coming in now in dribs and drabs and there seems to be a, a lot more people making their way up here. 
hasn't been open that long. I couldn't really tell you uh, how long it's been open. Uh, I think it was sometime uh, early or middle of last year. Uh, I'm entirely unsure. If you look on the internet, I'll tell you anyway. Always amazes me that people come along the skywalk, uh, they'll only walk along it if they can hold on to the handrail. <laughs> but who's to blame them, you know, not everybody's as brave as my wife, she'll just walk along the glass and just hope that it doesn't break. But I must say, it's uh, absolutely spectacular now because having that little uh, drizzle has really freshened the air up. Uh, it, it has been getting too hot in the last few days and the uh, humidity is so dense that it's very, very hard to breathe. And if you're having to wear a mask, it's virtually <laughs> crit critical to your health, I'm sure it is. So some really nice views up here if you come up, uh, I believe, uh, don't uh, take me as gospel, I think the entry fee was only 60 baht, uh, according to the wife, I didn't really see her buy the tickets, uh, so I'll take her word for it, there's actually 60 baht uh, ticket, which I think is quite reasonable. But we're going to go from here now, we're going to try and find something to eat and uh, camp out some restaurant place at the side of the river and uh, just watch the uh, river traffic before we go home. Some absolutely splendid restaurants around this area so if you're uh, hungry and you want something to eat you're not going to be disappointed guys. So we'll let this play out and we'll catch you at the restaurant on the side of the river. So we found a nice little uh, restaurant, a uh, little bit uh, on the uh, higher end than I'd normally go for. And uh, this restaurant has a lot of little floating uh, restaurants that uh, get pulled out uh, along the river and they have groups of four, six, ten or even uh, larger parties and uh, they're just uh, pulled away from the key quayside and away they go. Wife having a little laugh to herself, uh, one of the waiters jumped over the fence and she thought he'd jumped into the water. She didn't realise that just on the other side of the fence if you look there there's a little walkway and uh, he'd obviously used it uh, as an ease to talk to the customers. So my friends, thank you very much for watching, uh, I hope you stuck it out to the end and uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one, take care of yourselves, bye bye.